here in the Philippines, napaka ironic, no? Napaka liit ng kalsada, napaka traffic, napaka gulo ng kalsada natin at napakaraming sasakyan. But yet, kahit gaano kasikip ang kalsada, when you see one of these driving down the road, one thing holds for sure, mapapawaw ka talaga, di ba? So this is the 2023 Cadillac Escalade. Now, this is the third generation of Escalades that GM has made. In the hierarchy of General Motors, iisa lang po ang platform ng Escalade, ng Suburban, at saka ng Denali, Yukon. Iisa lang po yan. But yet, ang hierarchy nila magkakaiba. You have Chevrolet at the bottom of the barrel, which is for the common person. And then you have the GMC, which is a little bit higher end. And you have the Cadillac, which is, as uh, Jay Leno um, fondly says, yung dad daw niya, it's the Rolls Royce of cars daw. Hindi nga daw siya Rolls Royce, Cadillac nga eh. So that's the fun part of it is the Cadillac has been revered as the staple luxury of American capitalism. When the first Escalade came out, talagang wow, you know? That's a totally different look. And then the second generation came out, totally different body. And then this third generation comes out where all the different, I think, suggestions of buyers from the first and second generation were heeded. And it's the most technologically advanced Escalade that has come out in the market. And what's great about this, this, this SUV is hindi lang siya Escalade. This is one of the rarest birds in the stable. It's a diesel Escalade. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, bibili-bili ka ng Escalade, bibili ka diesel. Well, in this country, for some reason, diesel country pa rin tayo. Yung mga nakaka-afford at may pera, kahit pa paano, gusto pa rin nila makatipid. Even in the U.S., it's very hard to find a diesel Escalade. This is powered by a 3.0-liter twin-turbo Duramax engine, which is a long, uh, I would say, a long-standing engine that GM has been using in their product lines. Ano? Subok, matibay, uh, matipid, and at the same time, very durable. So it's a 3-liter Duramax engine, turbo diesel, uh, it has 277 horsepower with a staggering 450 foot-pounds of torque. So as you can see, it has a totally different grille, very aggressive look. It has the LED headlights. It has the signature fog lights that, lalo na sa gabi, when you're driving your car and you look at your rear view mirror, alam mo kaagad na Escalade siya, or maybe a spaceship. You don't know. So the lines are extremely aggressive. The reason why we decided to bring this in is because ito isa sa pinakakulang sa market. Ang dami nagpapasok ng long wheelbase. But ang hirap po imaneho ng long wheelbase. Para ka nagmamaneho ng trailer. So for a normal family, normally the boss or the husband and wife na may driver, this is the perfect vehicle. And then you have two kids sitting in the back. Comes with 22 inch wheels, polished aluminum wheels. Upgraded brakes. Normally, when you see a lot of these white uh, uh, tri-coat Escalades, they have black or red interiors or the brown interior. This actually we got in beige because there's something to be said about white on beige na koche. Napakalinis, napakapure. And at the same time, it never goes out of style. At sobrang init sa atin dito sa Pilipinas, minsan ang black interior, Mainit siya. So, pagtingin mo sa beige sa interior, napakalamig niya sa mata. So, mapapansin nyo, we have a 360 camera on this car. It has lane departure assist. It has a host of technological features na kahit na antukin ka sa kalsada, gigisingin ka ng sasakyan. So, ganyan ka advance yung kotse na to. So, let's take a look at the interior so we can talk more about it. So we're inside this very plush interior of this Escalade. What 
amazes me about this SUV is the way that the truck is laid out. No, this SUV is laid out. The stitching, the leather that was used, and what's impressive is this whole cluster made with OLED. So it has augmented reality uh, front cameras. So, ang nakakatawa sa kanya is pag naka, <laughs> pag, pag tumitingin ka sa windshield and tumitingin ka sa camera, minsan mas malinaw pa yung camera kasi sa windshield. So a lot of people actually make the mistake of just looking at the uh, uh, instrument cluster then they look at the windshield kasi sobrang linaw. It's very ergonomically laid out, very well appointed. It has Zebrano um, wood trim, which is, alam nyo naman, plastic. The perforated leather, you know, the reason why perforated to guys because it has ventilated seats. So kahit na sobrang init ng panahon, meron kang ventilation sa front seats mo. And at the same time, this Escalade actually comes with an intercom. So it has an intercom system here so that, ito yung intercom system niya, so that kung meron kang anak sa likod, hindi mo siya kailangan sigawan. Kasi pwede kang magsalita at eh naririnig ka sa speaker sa likod. So your kids can actually hear you or your mother-in-law or wife or whoever the case may be. Kung nakaupo sa likod na kailangan mong kausapin. And at the same time, when they talk to you, they don't have to shout as well. Because the worst thing in the world is having somebody shout sa loob ng kotse, di ba? So at the same time, ito pa ang the panoramic roof. Alam ko tayo mga Pilipino mahilig sa gluta no para pumuti tayo lahat pero mahilig tayo sa nakapayong at mahilig tayo na magpaputi. But ito, it's a safe way to get sun and at the same time hindi kayo itim. Bakit? Meron naman tinte. Eh. So may UV protection yan. So that's the beauty of this truck. It's well appointed. It has a third row seat power third row seat, second row seat adjustable front and back. You have every option available to you. It's fully loaded. So the best thing to do is to drive it so that you guys can experience it with me. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are inside a 2023 Cadillac Escalade. Now, what makes this car special? Ang guapo. It's what makes it so special. I mean, there's an air to there's an air to it, ano na uh, pag dala mo Escalade, you've moved it, you know. I mean, iba yung iba kasi yung may dala kang Land Cruiser, you know, you've made it na. But when you actually drive an Escalade, you know, sasabihin ng iba na naman yan, you know, ah, dito sa amin, service lang yan, dito sa amin, service lang yan. But you also have to understand, kahit sa Amerika, service yan, yung mga pangkaraniwang tao, hindi ho kaya i-afford yung service because these are limo services and they're very expensive. They charge a lot per hour, no? Even yung Uber, even yung Uber sa US, Uber Black, mahal yan. You know, from uh, LAX to from LAX in, in, in Los Angeles all the way to, to, to Westwood, it'll cost you about $80, $70, $80, ano? So, it's not cheap. You know, that's uh, $80, maybe even $100 total. That's like 5,500 pesos. So, it's a lot of money. Even normal people in the U.S. can't afford that. So, yun ang difference, you know? The Escalade has been renowned to be a luxury vehicle talaga. Let me tell you why. If you compare the Suburban versus the um, Yukon, you know, unless you step up to a Denali, you know, but even the Denali cannot compare to the status of an Escalade. Iba talaga. Uh, first and foremost, the suspension, you know, Dito sa Pilipinas, malubak ang mga kalsada. But yet, if you ride, even as a driver, you know, I can barely feel any of the bumps of the road. Yun ang kagandahan ng suspension ng Escalade, the leather, the interior, the way the car is just totally appointed 
is really very luxurious. So I think that's, that's the main reason why the car is so expensive. And at the same time, it's, rev it's upheld its tradition over the years, over several decades of, of, um, of building three generations of Escalades. It's maintained its core value as being the leader in the luxury uh, SUV market. You know, people are going to say, oh, your Lexus was maganda. Guys, you have to understand the Lexus is a full size, a full size uh, SUV, but it's not at the level and the size of an Escalade. Now, what makes another thing uh, special about this Escalade is it's a three liter twin, it's a lead three liter turbo diesel na Duramax engine. Now, the Duramax engine has been around for a long time for GM. I know they've been using it in their heavy du light duty trucks and it's proven na. I think that's the reason why they decided to put it in sa Denali, sa Yukon. And at the same time, that's the reason why they decided to put it in the uh, Suburban as well. The diesel, ano? there's a Suburban high country, the diesel. But I think that's the reason why they decided to do it. Because it's reliable, it's predictable, and it's durable. Uh, alam na nila mga sakit, alam na nila gaano katagal, at alam nila natatagal. Uh, it gets a combined city and highway 9.36 kilometers per liter. You know, it has a 277 horsepower with a, an astounding 450 newton meters of torque. So, malakas ang torque niya. So, if you look at the acceleration, the acceleration on this vehicle is absolutely insane. For, you know, a lot of people are going to say, oh, mas maganda yung 6.2 liter na V8. The 6.2 liter V8 has its own merit, ano? Malakas ang makina, di 8 siya. But the torque of a diesel engine is absolutely different, especially on a heavy car like this. Ibang iba. So as you can feel, ito, I will, uh, we just need to make a U-turn here. And I will explain to you guys the difference of torque and horsepower. If you guys, the roar of the engine. Iba ang torque niya eh. Ang sarap humatak. You know, and there, there are engines na alam mong malakas humatak pero hirap eh. The beauty of this, this SUV, as big as it is, and this is, this is a short wheelbase version. Ano? It's about two inches uh, shorter than the ESV. And the difference, lang niya, honestly, is the trunk. The trunk space on the ESV is a lot longer. But here in the Philippines, I think there's a case to be made with shorter version Escalades because they're a lot easier to use, especially for everyday driving, you know. Yung boss na kaupo sa likod, you know, hindi naman nagdadala ng balikbayan box yan sa likod, di ba? So normally, dala lang yan, normal na gamit na pang office or the husband and wife or even on a long extended weekend, you know, you don't need a trunk space that you need to move your whole apartment, di ba? So ang, ang trunk space nito, maganda na, malaki na for what you're gonna use it for. It's a car, it's not a condo. So... Ang ganda ng engine niya is hindi siya hirap. You know, the torque is immense. And, and people have, have this, this, uh, this misconception hanggang ngayon na they always look at horsepower. You know, not knowing that the torque is actually what pulls you. You know, for acceleration, it's the torque that gives you that first bump, ano? When you go through humps, I mean, you know, this car actually just eats it up like nothing. It has a 19-speaker AKG sound system. Uh, AKG makes uh, sound system environments, hi-fi audio, and it actually has immersive sound on your headrests. 
you know. So I always tell clients, you know, there's a reason why they did that to the car. Because maybe because of durability, maybe because of comfort, maybe because you don't feel it now, but in long drives you will, long drives you will feel it. So there's a multitude of reasons why car companies do things the way they feel is right. And it's all based on research and facts. Hindi yung kasi gusto mo lang. You know, it doesn't work that way. They're multi-billion dollar companies. Um, again, this is a 2023 Cadillac Escalade uh, short wheelbase. But the beauty of this Escalade, it's, it's a diesel. So it will last you a very long time. This Escalade is available at Luxury Cars Manila. So please give us a call at 0917-463-0077 and uh, schedule a test drive. Come to the office, take a look at the, the vehicle. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching and supporting our channel. This is King Panda for Luxury Cars Manila, signing off.